Well, here come the two teams down below us. International break over. The final countdown is on in the championship promotion race. Bristol City and Leicester walk out into a packed Ashton Gate for the early kickoff on this Good Friday. Every match matters now. And with all three of the Fox's title rivals in action later, Leicester have the chance to lay down a marker here in the West Country. For the first time since early October, they do not start a game top of the table. This is the team news, and Bristol City hand Scott Twine just his second start since arriving from Burnley in January. He impressed off the bench against West Brom. Cam Bring also comes in, and it looks like a switch to three at the back. Max O'Leary's in goal, Zach Viner, Rob Dickey and Hayden Roberts the back three, George Tanner and Pring the wing-backs, the former Fox Matty James in midfield with Jason Knight, Twine and Anis Mameti either side of Tommy Conway. Big team news for Leicester, Jamie Vardy is fit after missing the Chelsea game, Wilfred Ndidi starts a league match for the first time in 2024, and both Ricardo and Dennis Pratt are back amongst the subs after their spells out. So Hermanson is in goal, Chowdhury, Vestergaard, Fass and Justin in the back four. Indeed, he joined in midfield by Dewsbury Hall and Winks. Fatawu and Mavadidi either side of Vardy. The referee today is uh, Andrew Kitchen in his luminous yellow top. He looks at his whistle, he blows his whistle. Bristol City get this game underway. Conway rolls it back to one of the three centre-halves and it goes long towards the head of Yannick Vestergaard. Leicester kicking from right to left as we look at it towards the Atio stand where 3,400 blue clad supporters have made the journey down for this 12.30 kickoff. Bristol City with a pocket of space now just inside the uh, Leicester half and they roam forward to this right hand side to uh, George Tanner, one of the wing backs. He misplaces his pass, it looked like it went out of play, it didn't and that, that is a very brave ball to dissect Jamie Vardy and they go out to the, to the left hand side and Pring and across comes uh, Fatawu and Bristol City on what is a giant playing surface, Jerry, have, have started well inside the opening 50 seconds. And they've played a ball down the right to Tanner. Tanner gets there, loops the ball up into the sky. Or oh, Chowdhury and Hermanson, none of them came to get it. And it's going to drop down for Tommy Conway. And Leicester there were a little sleepy at the back early on. Conway again in the box, rides one challenge. Plays it out to the edge of the box. The shot is deflected wide to the first corner. Jason Knight had it. He's got a couple of goals this season. And Bristol City have a corner inside one and a half minutes. Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes, you know, just getting into a different environment, you know, I'm, I'm meeting up with a different group of players as well, you know. Here's Navadidi, a mistake by Tanner. His Dewsbury Hall's ball wasn't the best, but Navadidi with the outside of his boot, brilliant ball in. Headed away only as far as Fatawu. Leicester's first attack. Fatawu shoots, deflects up towards Vardy, gets his head on it. And Max O'Leary comes and claims. Mavadidi was behind Vardy, and that is Leicester's best moment after four and a half minutes. That is almost an exceptional throw by O'Leary, up over halfway. Conway was trying to latch onto it, and he almost kept it in. It was almost exceptional from the Bristol City Irish goalkeeper. Yeah, he's, you know, he's tried to throw a quick one out. After that headed half, sort of half chance, it wasn't a, a powerful header from Jimmy Vardy. Has them playing some nice stuff here, and Matty James, we know he can pick a pass, and he has, out to this right-hand side. Controlled down by George Tanner, who's the wrong side of Mavadidi. Down the line it goes to Mometi. Mometi will get his cross in, he kind of hands one up towards the far post. Headed back as far as uh, Hayden Roberts. Roberts into Conway. Conway will shoot, and Hermanson saves. It was straight at him, but it was a smart stop. Bristol City there, probably with the game's best chance after 10 minutes. Yeah, well, again, that move starts down the right-hand side. So you're spreading the play inside the box. And as I say, he just gives that near post run up there and really just should have carried that on. If he can't get a shot at goal, he at least controls the ball and, and hopefully recycles it. Bristol City have played through the Leicester press and Vestergaard is caught up the pitch because of that. Conway can run up fast here. He's round him, he shoots and Hermanson saves. The rebound from Twine. Hermanson saves again. Brilliant goalkeeping. Not for the first time this season. Mads Hermanson stood tall, stood big. 
and keeps it at nil nil yeah again you just showed that running off the ball I've just been speaking about this way it's Conway he's got the beating of well fast fast has to back off might have been a Bristol City counter-attack had he not won it. Yeah, absolutely. Instead, it's a Leicester free kick. And Harry Winks here is going to dink this in towards Fass. Free header. Oh, it's almost in. And then almost arrived at James Justin, who would have had a tap in. Well, Fass around the back. That's as close as Leicester have come to opening the scoring. 28 and a half minutes gone. It's still goalless. Yeah, great ball in from Harry Winks. Perfect flight, perfect pace. Matt Sermonton has had three or four saves to make one particularly good one one particularly good double save here is fast looking to move Leicester the other way back now to Hamza Chowdhury Ricardo on the bench Dennis Pratt returning on the bench for Bristol City Andy King on the bench and at some stage Jerry he will go out for a warm-up and he will run towards those Leicester fans and you'll know about it here is Navadidi lays in Vardy Vardy gets there oh he's stroked it wide what a chance! George Channel was the defender, but Jamie Vardy in front of the Leicester fans had a clear sight of goal, and he looks to the heavens. Liam Manning will think has, has worked well, actually, in this first half of Bristol City. They had a four at West Brom when they were beaten before the international break. Here's Tanner, the right wing back, into Knight. Knight now to Conway. Conway turns away from James Justin. And now James strokes that ball forward to Mimetti. The touch beyond Vestergaard. The quick feet. Great defending by Chowdhury. Twine shoots. Fast blocks. Almost exceptional from a Bristol City perspective. But what a challenge that was from Chowdhury. Meanwhile, Vardy has won the ball down the other end of the pitch. He crosses in. He gets it back. He runs into the penalty area. He shoots. What a chance that was. Just wide. All his own making. He's Huge put, opportunities at both ends in the space of 20 seconds. He's better one two off the Bristol defender, hasn't it? It's a, it's a cross in the box and it just comes straight back at him. And he's not hanging around, is he? Great first touch, goes past the defender. Again, it's a tight angle. Yes, they need to ensure they're, they're not predictable. Bristol City, I would suggest themselves, will probably think that they could be ahead in this game. That's a glorious touch from Vardy to release Dewsbury Hall. Back to Vardy, in on goal. Big save from O'Leary. Comes back to Mavadini, goes round his man. Another crucial save from O'Leary to put it over the bar. Well, you really would have bet your house on Jamie Vardy scoring there. He did so well in the build-up. But Max O'Leary saves Bristol City. It's still nil-nil. Here is Dewsbury Hall on the hour mark at Ashton Gate. Leicester's first trip here for 11 years a very different place and Leicester a very different club really since Chris Wood's hat-trick here which won them the game Faf into the box gets to the byline pulls it back and O'Leary makes another save again it's Wout Faf who is the most productive attacker just at the moment for Leicester City Chowdhury almost almost was closed down by James again and it ricocheted off of James and it could have gone anywhere and it Fortunately, arrived at James Justin's feet. He gets himself in a great position, fast. And he's in the band, he's past the defender, he just needs to play a crisp pass across the face of goal, evade the keeper's outstretched arm. He just can't, just can't pull it off. But, I mean, Navadidi slide rule, brilliant pass to Dewsbury Hall, who dissects in Didi and Vardy. And had that arrived at either, they probably would have scored. Well, again, Wilfred and Dede, he sort of stands his ground in the middle of the box. If he makes that advanced run towards the near post at an angle, there's a good chance he, you know, he gets a shot, shot on goal. O'Leary has it, rolls it short to Roberts, sikes his first touch, and Vestergaard has gone to try and close him down. It's a bit scrappy, it comes through again to Crystal City's back three and they roll it back to O'Leary who goes short and Dewsbury Hall's won it, it's a gift for Vardy, oh he's missed again! That is extraordinary! O'Leary I think has made a save and it is a brilliant save but Jamie Vardy 
from no more than seven yards out. You just expected the back of the net to ripple. He really could have had a hat-trick today at Ashton Gate. The Bristol City have won it again. And all of a sudden, they're having a little spell. And listen to that noise, and it's Mometi now. Missed touch from him. He's done some very nice things today. But also, he's had some moments when it hasn't quite happened. As Dickey was almost beaten to the ball by Vardy, who might just have been in, although that was inside the Leicester half. That was an early moment there from Jamie Vardy. And we're now hearing the Bristol City fans for the first time in this second half. We have it on the right-hand side with uh, McCrory, who gets beyond Mavadidi and gets beyond Dewsbury Hall and shoots into the side netting. Well, he might have crossed, he went for the spectacular. And that is as close as Bristol City have come for a good 15 or so minutes. Still nil-nil. It probably had three, sorry, and then it would probably say, yeah, if he gets in, I expect at least one or two of them to go in. Uh, I'll take him off. Because effectively, game should be over, shouldn't it? <laughs> it should. Here is Jewsbury Hall. Pokes it forward. Oh, it's a brilliant move. And then Justin, was he fouled as he tried to square it to Vardy, who would have scored? The referee said no. That looked a good shout for a penalty from up here on first viewing. Leicester have worked it well again. The cross in is good. It's going to fall for Fatuwu, who's blasted wide. We were right behind it. That was a big chance. Keenan Jewsbury Hall is looking to the referee as if to say, why didn't you give a penalty? But Leicester there unlocked the Bristol City defence. They couldn't make the most of it. I mean, the build-up play was sublime, wasn't it? One touches all the way up from the edge of the Bristol box. It falls to James Justin. There's a defender coming towards him, but just before the defender clatters in, he passes the ball, he gets the ball away. Long ball forward for Naki Wells to try and latch onto, and Hermanson has to head it. And he only headed it as far as Sykes, who was encouraged by the crowd to shoot first time from 40 yards. He didn't, he's brought it under control, and he's picked out Mometi. Mometi will shoot, and he's scored! Into the top corner! Bristol City leads with 17 minutes left. And Leicester's task has just got a whole lot harder. He threatened that in the first half. But on this occasion, Anis Mometi has found the back of the net. Bristol City won, Leicester nil. Well, that's the price you play. One for not taking your chances and two for not switching on. You know, it's a long ball, a long pass. Bristol deal with it better. And then as this ball comes across, the face of goal. Hamza Charlie just gives them too much room, too much time, too much space. You can see now he just shifts it on his left foot. Hamza still doesn't close him down. You know, Leicester just guilty of not just just not dealing with a long ball. Jamie Vardy has come off during those celebrations. Kelechi Iheanacho has come on. But here is Sykes of Bristol City. They want a second. He's got into the penalty area and his shot is saved. Well, he did well to go beyond Winks. And Mads Hermanson for the third or fourth time today has come up with a big moment. And that one might just have kept Leicester in the contest at 1-0 as Winks tries a defence fitting pass, but it's cut out by Viner, who will look for the goal scorer Mimetti, who uh, has brought that down and he's got Wout Fass for company here. Wells is in the middle. Mimetti with a couple of step overs and a couple more and then a very poor pass. He, he can look brilliant, but he's at times... Yeah, he's got great feet, hasn't he? But, well, he's scored a wonder goal, hasn't he? You know, he's scored a great goal left foot, which probably isn't his favourite foot. Uh, he scored in the first half when Chowdhury stopped him with that amazing yeah. challenge. Here's Jusby Hall, found a lovely pocket of space. He's released Iheanacho, the flag is up. Iheanacho finishes it fantastically with a dink over the goalkeeper, but it won't count. That must have been close. Leicester have the ball in the back of the net, but no celebrations. Still 1-0 Bristol City. Yeah, it's, it did look offside from where I was. At the back for Leicester, who have 40 seconds now to try and find the equaliser. Into midfield it goes and Harry Winks. This is last chance saloon today, certainly now. 
Winks turns back, looks forward, smacks it long, and O'Leary will catch that comfortably. Goes to ground. That might just be that. Leicester's first trip here for 11 years. It is not going to be a happy one. Unless something really dramatic happens now. O'Leary still has it. He bounces the ball a couple of times. The five minutes are almost up. The referee's had a long look at his watch. O'Leary booms it long. On we go. Wells rises. Bristol City win the game. And Leicester lose for the eighth time this season. It opens the door for their challenges in the championship promotion race. And it's Mimetti's goal, the difference. After Leicester missed a number of very good opportunities, Max O'Leary with some big, big saves. And it is a defeat on this Good Friday for the Foxes. Full-time score at a jubilant Ashton Gate. Bristol City won. Leicester nil.